Welcome to Linux Sid tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the stat system call in Linux using C programming language. Before we dive into what stat system call is, we should know what a system call in general is. Well, system calls are provided by the Linux kernel and are exposed in the C programming language. When a system call is used, you are communicating to the operating system and the operating system in return communicates to the process or to you through the parameters that are returned to the system call functions, which are also known as the return values. Now let's talk about the stat system call. Well, the stat system call is used to check the status of a file such as to check when the file was accessed. The stat system call actually returns file attributes. The file attributes of an in node are basically returned by stat function. An in node contains the metadata of the file. We can simply say that the in node contains all the data that is required for the stat system call or the stat function in C programming language. To understand any function in any programming language, we should know what is the syntax of that function. Well, the syntax of stat system call is as and to use the stat system call, we need to include the following libraries in our header file as stat system call is present inside the file system slash state dot h or stat dot h. The structure of the stat is defined inside the system slash stat dot header file, which is as inside the structure, you can see a lot of values such as stat underscore dev. ST underscore dev is the ID of the device in which our file is currently residing. You can see the description of all these different values on your screen right now. Well, let's create a new file and let's try to find the mode of a file using the stat system function. For that, open up a terminal and create a file named stat.c. Open up this file inside the text editor and write the following code inside the file. As you can see in the code that we are creating a stat structure with the identified stat and s file. Then we call the stat function over here. And after calling the stat function, we are simply printing out the mode of the file in this line. All we have to do now is save this file and compile it using the GCC compiler. To execute the newly created file, we simply use the following command. As you can see, our file has the mode 100664. Similarly, we can use other functions from the stat function file, which we are going to do next. Next up, we're going to print the user ID of the file, the bulk size of the file, the blocks that it is consuming, the size of the file, the end links of the file. We're going to print out the file permission separately. For that, we are going to use the following code, which is also present on the Linux Hint website. The main thing to note in this program or in this code is that we are calling the stat function right over here and we are actually looking for an error over here. If there is an error, then the program would stop executing. But if there is no error, then we are going to use different values as shown in the stat structure. And we are going to print out some of these values with the use of printf statement. All we have to do is save this text file or save this .c file and compile it using the GCC compiler. Now if we execute this, it will ask us for the name of the file that we want to check. For the file to check, we wrote stat.c and it told us that the user ID of this file is 1000, the bulk size is 4096 and all the other information about this file. In this way, you can use the stat system call using C programming language. That is it for this video. You can read more in-depth detail about this stat system call on Linux Sent website under the article title Stat System Call Linux Tutorial.